Donald Trump is such an egomaniac he actually autographed photos of murdered children. Donald Trump met with the families of young murder victims and showed his compassion by signing the photos of their dead children. We just want. The POTUS was holding a rally to keep his base's fear of immigration whipped up, gathering together families who had children who had been killed by an illegal immigrant. You know, to make it seem like every immigrant is on a murder spree, never mind that statistically undocumented immigrants commit fewer crimes than American citizens' photos, Melania Trump wore what on her way to visit a child detention center? Just keep telling them to be afraid of a crisis that doesn't exist so you can push your racist agenda. Ugh. He even referred to the murdered children as permanently separated from their families in case the message was too subtle for anyone. But even within that context Trump couldn't pretend to be a damned human being for an hour as his attempt at being intellectually dishonest fell apart at the intellectual part. Several who were able to stomach the rally noticed something very strange. Trump's signature on all the portraits the families held up of their murdered children. Look, below. You don't have to be a handwriting expert to see that's his distinctively jagged signature, Donald Trump signature annoying as hell pic.twitter.com slash ndv 3 d cutefully, Daniel Bang, at Bang74, May 25, 2018 His signature will never not be funny to me. He just scribbles triangles together with a few taller spikes. There's 18 triangles in there, but only 12 letters in Donald J. Trump. That's the signature of a man who has written and or read fewer than 20 pages in his entire life. Pick.twitter.com slash v6 ba 2 zpx 90 Jonathan's on, at Jonathan's on, June 20, 2018 What the serious hell, man? Image via White House, YouTube, tags, crazy, Donald Trump, icky icky poo. Politic, sad sad, social issues, viral, new Stefano Gabbana may have crossed the line one time too many. Because now it's hurting Dolce and Gabbana's place in the fashion world. When the controversial designer called Selena Gomez so ugly on Instagram, it wasn't just Selenators who who found the comment in bad taste. Related, Miley Cyrus stepped in to defend Selena. During a panel on the future of the red carpet at the Business of Fashion Summit last week, some top celeb stylists made it clear the future did not look bright for the brand after that bit of bullying. Pretty Reporter quoted two major stylists saying they were done with D&G. Carla Welch, who styles Amber Heard, Sarah Paulson, Lard, and more, said, image via apeg slash ipe slash when.